Hey everybody, Gecko here for another nightly walk and talk. I have no clue what I'm going to talk about, like I said in my previous video. Uh, so far it's a nice night. Uh, I really enjoyed the doc talk we had yesterday. I haven't posted it yet, I'm going to do that uh, when I get back from this walk. I'll probably... Uh, upload it and then I'll put this video together and then I'll probably upload it too so <clears throat> let me go ahead and turn you around all right well nothing much is going on I know I say this almost every time um, last night was fairly well I won't say it was uneventful on the <laughs> you I haven't watched the video I made last night, but I'm sure you can hear that pack of coyotes howling, and it sounded like they were on the run, so uh, I didn't stick around. I turned around and came back to the subdivision, and uh, I didn't want to meet them, you know, on the road, because, you know, I, I kind of like my insides inside, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway... Um, I did, I talked a little bit about side hustles yesterday, and one of them that I was wanting to do was affiliate marketing and, and making the Facebook group to kind of showcase it in my niche, and I went ahead and did that. Um, I made a Facebook group called Side Hustle training and ideas so if you want to join that uh i'll put a link in the description of this video and uh you can read some of the different side hustles that are going to be put there um or post your own for the other people in the group um the post I did was basically um, an affiliate program where they teach you how to make money using Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So, it's a little course. It does, uh, I think it, to start out, it's $27 and... Um, they have little classes and whatever, and after that, I think there's a monthly fee. But once you start making money in this affiliate mar in in this thing, you can almost use it like a part-time or even full-time job. So it will pay for itself. Um, I may or may not do it myself. Um, if I do, I'll use my own affiliate link so I get that money back. So it will be like almost uh, getting it for free, pretty much. Because I'll not only get 75% of the money I pay back, I will get whatever money I pay monthly after that, I will also get uh, a lot of that back. It's uh, the initial monetary conversion for the affiliate product is uh, like $21 and some change. And then the residual that I would get back from the money I pay to keep it up would be $32. So I'd get most of my money back. So it's like deeply discounted if I'm doing it through my own affiliate link, you know. So... Yeah, and I did look up the other one I talked about was the Buffer.com job, the content writer. That job posting is not there anymore. They have some sort of like director of marketing type position or something like that. That's the only job they have available right now. But I went ahead and put myself on their mailing list. So if any other job postings come up, I'll get notified. Because... I mean, that's $8,300 a month, I think. 
to, you know, as a full-time job. And I still haven't heard anything back from Scribe Media. Um, I did like yesterday's post about treating uh, situations in your life as a living being, as a living organism. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. I, you know, I never really put it together like that before. So, and you know, I had talked previously about the uh, Kindle Direct Publishing and their little novella chapter book series that you can publish. I may do a series, kind of like a philosoph philosophical series, about these little concepts that I that pop into my head, like this treating situations like an, a living being and uh, divine sustainability and other little philosophical nuggets and tidbits that come into my brain. And who knows, maybe people will actually like reading them and I'll make some money. So, I may start that tonight. I'm not sure. Since that idea is still fresh in my head. And hell, I may do a another little book series on the different side hustles because everybody's looking for a side hustle these days so I don't I'll have to search the Kindle Direct Publishing book listings and see if anybody else is doing that and how their sales are going <sighs> But I'm kind of trying to find something that I can do from home so I'm not working at Amazon anymore. I mean, I don't, I like working for Amazon. It's just, I don't like doing the work for Amazon. I mean, the, my body is just, it's complaining something fierce about doing that kind of work. I've been sore all weekend my back, my knees. Um, and I don't know why. I mean, well, I kind of do. The um, When I'm packing and I'm taking stuff out of the wall to put in the boxes, a lot of, if it's a low cu cubicle, you know, I have to kneel down. And all this kneeling and getting back up and kneeling and getting back up, it's taking its toll on my knees. If I'm just walking, there's no problem. So it's not going to impact my through hiking. Um, it's just, I can't take the kneeling and the squatting and stuff like that. And that's part of my disability that I'm applying for that I still haven't heard anything back from. And I keep saying I'm going to get back in touch with, uh, Premier Disability Services to try to get an update and I always forget until it's like too late and they're closed or it's the weekend and I can't do it and they're not open. So <clears throat> I need to I need to find out what's going on with that. Because I have a sneaky suspicion that they've already made their decision and I didn't get it and they just haven't told me because they're not getting paid, you know? So, you know, if they've made a decision, I need to know. And if they haven't made a decision and they're still in the process, I need to know that too, you know? Because if they're still in the decision process, I need to kind of solidify my plans for getting out on the Appalachian Trail. You know, once I get approved, what do I need to do? 
um, to get out there in mid-March. Because I'm still hoping to get out there this coming year. And I can't do it just on my VA disability. I have to keep a job, you know, to help pay for the rent and the bills. Because my wife, my wife's pay and my daughter's can't, can't do it. They'll be in the hole every month. So, uh, right now we need my, oh, that moon is pretty. Especially with the dusk. Come on, focus. Focus. It's not focusing. Barely focusing. Anyway, it is pretty though. With the light on the horizon from the sunset. This is my favorite time of night where the sun's already gone down. It's still that afterglow. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I need to, you know, make the plans, what I need to get, where I'm going to get it from, how I'm going to pay for it. Um, I'm still hoping I get that lump sum so I can get a decent uh, two-in-one laptop tablet to take with me on the trail, get some sort of waterproof case for it. Um... I won't, I, pro I won't be using the laptop on the trail. I probably, uh, well, I may have to. I can't just uh, um, do all my video editing in towns, you know. I'll never get anything put together to put up online on YouTube. So I'm going to have to, like, sit in my tent and edit. Just make sure I have a lot of the little... Um, um, drawing packets with me. You can buy, uh, you can buy boxes of those or whatever, bags of those through Amazon, <laughs> you know, and put them in the waterproof case to make sure that the, any moisture from humidity and fog and everything else that does get into the waterproof case or when I'm you know, from when I'm using it in the tent or whatever, it won't damage the electronics that I'm using. So, and I'm hoping to also upgrade my phone to the iPhone 13, unless I can find a better phone for video quality. I don't know if that would be the, like, Pixel or um, a Samsung or, or what. Um, something that has a lot of memory and a 4G video or 4K video capability. And... Maybe, I, I don't know if there's any phones out there that have a, a night video setting where I could like video or take pictures of the Milky Way or whatever. I think you have to have a, an actual DSLR for that with a special lens. I don't know. But I think there are camera phones out there that are able to take night photos. So, I need to research that. Um... But even though, you know, I, I, I like my iPro 12, my iPhone Pro uh, 12 Pro. Um, it's what I'm using right now. Um, you know, just using it for... Um, using my iMovie for video editing kind of takes up my memory. 
because I take the videos, I stitch them together, and then I save the completed video to my phone before I upload it to YouTube. You know, I'll take the videos, I'll open iMovie, create the movie, save it to my phone. So by by then I have I'm taking up double the memory. And then once it's saved, I delete the individual clips in case I want to take, you know, more videos. And each time I do that, I have to go into my settings, go into the general, go to iPhone storage and delete recently deleted videos to open up that memory. Because that's the only way that, mem that memory opens up. Just because you delete it doesn't mean it's gone off your phone until you delete it in your settings. And that's a pain in the ass. If I had an Android, which I think um, Samsung definitely is, but I think Pixel um, is too. Um, they don't have the... Um, you can plug it into a laptop and drag and drop without a problem. I never had a problem when I had a Sam Samsung dragging and dropping videos onto a laptop like I do with the iPhone. The iPhone, by design, wants to use iTunes to download music and videos off the phone. To do it, just drag and drop, it'll crash. Especially on movies. Especially on the long movies. The short video clips, eh, you can usually get them. And you may have to unplug and plug in your phone one or two times to get it to do it. it it's, it's... I think it's a device recognition problem. Between the different um, operating systems. With Samsung, it doesn't, and with the Androids, it doesn't seem to be a problem. So I'm going to have to research that. Um, I'm going to go back and kind of um, watch the videos of this past through hiking season, the one that's just ended, um, and see what the vloggers are using for their phone service. Because I, I know AT&T has been notoriously bad for um, service on the, on the Appalachian Trail. And Verizon was the best. But I think it's changed to T-Mobile. Um, and of course, I'm using Spectrum Mobile, which works off of the Verizon network. So, I need to figure out what's going to be the best service on the trail and go ahead and switch. Or, if Verizon's not that bad for the reviews of people on the trail, I may keep, I may keep the uh, Spectrum Mobile on Verizon. Hold on. Hello. So, that's a decision I have to make. And then, of course, I have to... You know, once I get my my tablet, laptop, two-in-one, and the phone I'm going to use, and I do want to get a gimbal for the phone so the video footage isn't as shaky as, like, right now you see it moving... It won't do that with the gimbal. Um, and I also have to figure out whether I'm going to be shooting the video on my phone or if I'm going to get a DSLR camera and shoot the video on that. Because if that's the case, I'm going to have to get a gimbal for the camera. Unless it has a built-in um, stabilization function which a lot of them are doing these days so I'll I'll make those decisions as they come up but I'm going to need to get 
uh, a navigation program, which will probably be the Far Out app, which used to be Gut Hooks. Uh, that's what most everybody seems to be using. That and Gaia. But um, I think Gut Hooks is going to be better. And, I, you know, and there's also the Hiker app, H I I K E R, which is the UK based GPS app for hiking. Um, I've actually talked with them before, as I've said previous, in previous videos. And they were wanting, once I got on the CDT, to to have me on their podcast so i don't know i may decide to do hiker i don't know that's another decision i'm just gonna have to make when it comes up um then i'm gonna have to find a, a music service where i can download music to use in my videos um And that's going to be something else I'm going to have to figure out. You're a fucking asshole. What a fucking idiot. Jesus. Hate people like that. No regard for anybody's safety but their own. And even, even then, they could have hit something and hurt themselves. So, they're just fucking idiots. Anyway. <sighs> Back to the video. <laughs> anyway, God, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, uh, music for the videos. Oh, yeah, I, I had already finished that. Um, the kids are playing in the playground over there. So, um, another thing is, you know, day zero... You know getting to the Appalachian Trail and um, the approach trail and probably day one I'll go ahead and kind of take clips and photos from those two days and um, <clears throat> stitch together a Appalachian Trail 2021 or 2022 um, intro the intro video clip to use on all of my my AT through hike videos um, and I'm gonna have to use the laptop and whatever video editing software I get to do that because I that's something I can't really do on iMovie or Canva because you can't you can't put music to those so when the first video is uploaded to YouTube, it will have the new intro clip. I'll make sure of that. So, yeah. But all of that is dependent on getting that approval for this disability and the lump sum check because the lump sum check is going to be how I'm paying for the through hike and it's probably going to be enough where I can save what I don't use for the AT and use it on the PCT the next year I think it's going to be that much and I'm not going to uh, put I'll probably put a little bit of it in the family account just so we can pay down some stuff. But for the most part, I'm just going to let the monthly pay that I get from the disability and the VA disability and let the family use that for the rent. That way they don't have to worry about rent. I'm paying for it while I'm on the trail. 
and just use what I say from the lump sum amount to pay for the, the through hike. But once I get that check and I, I, uh, once I, I get that lump sum check and I have my through hiking budget, basically the money I'll need to through hike, I'll go ahead and book a, you know, pick my start date, book a flight, make a reservation at the, the Springer Mountain Lodge for that first night. And basically, I'll just have my wife take me to the airport, or my daughter, or hell, I'm <coughs> sorry. <coughs> if I have to, I'll take an Uber. Um, that'll be kind of expensive. I don't, I'm not sure how how much it would cost to take an Uber from here to the Austin airport. I'm thinking probably forty, fifty bucks, uh, but I don't know. I would have to actually get on there and put the destination in and see what they say it would cost. Because you can, you can figure out how much it will cost without actually booking the ride. You know. But I'll be leaving like early in the morning. So if my wife is off, she can take me. And if my daughter is off, she can take me, you know, as long as she's not at a friend's house in Cibolo. Even if she is in Cibolo, she can still give me a damn ride. The many times as I've given her rides over the years, taking them back and forth to work to Slytherin and New Braunfels and to the outlet mall here in town, you know, I'll be gone for four to six months. She can give me a goddamn ride, you know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I think Alexander Sealing, my little guy that I'm watching do the American Discovery Trail, has his next video up, so I'm going to watch that tonight. It's the uh, second half of uh, Colorado going into Utah. That should be good. I've seen some of his his Utah Utah photos on Instagram. He's having a he's having a good time. So there you go. I should probably start watching Adventures with a Crazy Bed again. There's there's just so many things I want to do. I never have the time to do everything that I want to do. You know, because I want to write. I want to do. Uh, do these side hustles. I want to do my YouTube channels. I want to... Uh, I have no time to do all the things I want to do. Which is another reason to get on the trail. I won't have to do all these things. You know? I can do my YouTube videos and I can hike. And that's it. You know, every once in a while, if I got some sort of side hustle going on, I need to like update or get new links for or whatever I can do it and make Zazzle stuff as I get good photos and stuff like that but that doesn't take any time at all and I still need to get on uh, Ibi Tat's merch store and see what he's using and if it costs anything, I know he has his own domain name, so that costs something, but I don't know how much. And uh, I'm also waiting to see if I get on the trail and somebody gives me a different trail name, and that might impact my channel, you know, instead of being Gecko's Trails, it would become something else probably. I don't know. And I've kind of already got the branding for Gecko's Trails done. So I may just keep Gecko's Trails and just say, hey, that's my trail name. And nobody else will give me another one because I already have one. So I don't know. That's going to be another one of those things. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. 
But I, I like Gecko's trails. I like being Gecko, you know? So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I definitely want to get this disability thing sorted out so I can finalize my plans. You know, if I can go, fine. I want to make the plans and get the stuff to go. If I don't get it, then I need to focus on my side hustles. So when the time comes to figure out whether we're going to be re-signing our lease on our house. Um, hopefully we don't re-sign the lease. Um, and my wife does travel nursing, or if, even if she does do travel nursing anyway, and we have the house anyway. Travel nursing, you, you can make, you know, damn near $10,000 a month. I can go hike and the rent will be paid, you know, with her doing travel nursing. You know, and the girls will just have to maintain the house while, she, while we're both away, you know. But I don't know. You know, if we do, if we don't re-sign the lease and she does travel nursing, we're not going to have rent. So, you know, all the money that she makes is basically I also have to pay for is the the storage unit for our stuff and her phone and her car payment and insurance that's gonna probably total a thousand dollars and if she's making six to ten thousand dollars a month she's gonna have all that extra money and I can use my disability to hike on you know all of my disability my my monthly disability on top of you know well that's just it i wouldn't if i don't get the disability i'm only going to have the va disability but i can have my va disability the 300 dollars a month be my main budget and then anything else can come from the family account you know from what my wife is making because she'll have like Four to six extra thousand, four to six thousand extra dollars sitting in the account. It can pay for what's remaining from that three hundred dollars on what I need. So that's another thing that we're just going to have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But regardless, you know, twenty twenty four is the date I'm shooting for if I don't get the disability if I do get the disability I'll be going next year <laughs> so that's the rundown on that and then all I'm gonna have to once I get on the trail I'm just gonna have to worry about the temperatures you know because I talked about that in a previous video you know, I'm going to have to make sure that I am warm enough, I stay hydrated enough, I stay dry enough, you know. And that's part of the AT, you know. No rain, no pain, no main. You know, that's the saying. That and hike your own hike. So... That's pretty much it. So far, I don't have any um, followers on that that new YouTube group or the Facebook group that I've made. Of course, I didn't advertise it. I just, you know, I put a description in there and I put some tag words in there. And hopefully it'll come up in searches for people wanting side hustles. And I put... Uh, you know, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter in there. So those groups have like millions of followers. 
So if they're looking for any other groups to follow, hopefully they'll follow my Facebook group and they can post their side hustles, ideas or tra uh, training videos or training links or whatever. And, you know, it's a place where they can put their links for, you know, affiliate marketing and stuff, you know, where they can possibly make money on my group. So I did today invite some family members. I know I said I wouldn't do that, but I do have family members, especially in my birth family that have two or three, four jobs, you know, and some of them are probably looking for some side hustles to do. So I went ahead and invited them, you know, because they may actually get something out of it. And they may actually, you know, click on my link and, and buy the little program that I'm um, marketing through ClickBank. So, and I'll go back every week or so with, you know, I'll, I'll find another uh, affiliate program on ClickBank and go ahead and post a new affiliate marketing link for that product or side hustle or whatever else. And, you know, have multiple things on my group that people can click on and, and buy. So, you know, I can possibly make some money. Hopefully, I can pick things that are going to have residual incomes. I don't know. You know, I always click on these things. And I'm the, the key factor for me doing something like that is, is it free? So, you know, because... I'm looking for something to make money. If, you know, if I had money to pay for this stuff, I wouldn't need to do, uh, you know, uh, a side hustle. I'd have the money. So, <coughs> <coughs> but some people may have money and they just want to make a little more money, you know, if they're like saving up for a vacation or a trip or something like that, you know. They may be willing to invest a little money to make more money. <laughs> and of course, I may start other Facebook groups for different niches and do more affiliate links for those niches. Like uh, writing tools, you know, or writing you know, programs for authors and stuff like that. I tried to look into um, doing a, a, a niche for um, like YouTube or vlogging editing tools, but I didn't see anything really pop up other than there was one that was for like doing two, 2D and 3D animations for videos. Uh, I, may, I may go ahead and do that, I don't know, but there wasn't enough products for that niche on ClickBank, so I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to search through ClickBank's marketplace a little better, because they have a lot of different affiliate programs that you can choose from across dozens of different categories so I'm gonna have to just spend a lot of time going through the marketplace and see what they have exactly and then I need to get on my other social media I mean I put this link on Twitter um, but I need to go ahead and try to do it in my other social media platforms you know um, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, um, even Facebook. I didn't post it on my personal Facebook page. Um, but I think whatever I post in a group also populates on my personal Facebook page. Because I'm using the same profile, you know. And it kind of does that with my, Becco, my Gecko's Trails page. So I don't know if it would double populate in the group and my personal profile or not.
But yeah, I, I did that yesterday and I, I checked it this morning when I got up and I'm still my only follower. So um, hopefully in the coming days that changes and I get people who are, are willing to participate in the group and, and post their own things, you know, start discussions, um, do their own little training videos and whatnot. You know, I basically only have two rules, you know, uh, no bullying, no, no, uh, hate speech. And then, um, don't promote anything illegal, you know, like drugs or weapons trafficking or hacking, prostitution, stuff like that. Those aren't viable side hustles, at least not in most states, you know. I mean, you know, prostitution's illegal in in Vegas, but I'm not in Vegas. And But I did, for my location, just put United States. Now, I didn't want to be specific about where I'm at. So I may start other groups, uh, you know, like healthcare or, or exercising, you know, and I thought about starting a YouTube group for, for exercising and, you know, finding different, um, creative commons videos for like cardio and yoga and, um, CrossFit or whatever and having different playlists for different types of exercising and you know trying to get that monetized you know kind of like i did for the meditation page that i don't think anybody's following but i only did one video for it so far but i've kind of forgotten how to i i don't think i've forgotten i just need to remember how um, I downloaded those Creative Commons videos off of YouTube. I think I just put YouTube free YouTube downloader in a search bar and there was one that I picked where you could put in the link from the video you want and it'll download that video and then you re-upload it on your page or your channel. Um, so I, I may make an exercise, uh, YouTube channel. I don't know. I already have two, three, you, three or four YouTube channels. One's not monetized because I'm using it as a, um, like a video diary. Um, so I, I post videos that I make basically to myself as like reminders and little idea gener generators and and stuff like that but they're all private and only i can watch them unless i like give somebody the link but i'm not going to give anybody the links to my private you know video journal uh but i also have um uh, the Wiccanarium now that I make videos for. I still don't have any followers for that channel other than myself. Um, I have advertised it on Pagan Space and I've also advertised my Zazzle store and my new products that I've made for uh, Sacred Forest Gifts um, on there, but nobody's bought anything yet. And I'll, I'll keep advertising. It'll, it'll get you know sales eventually and i'll get followers eventually you know and keep putting those videos up with tag words that come up in searches and eventually i'll get followers that's basically how it was with gecko's trails for the longest time i didn't have any followers and then i got a few followers and then now i'm up to 92 followers you know of course it's been two or three years since i started or even longer but once that ball gets rolling, especially once I get on a trail and start putting up a, tr you know, a through hike vlog, you know, a through hike playlist, I'll get the followers. They'll come. 
and eventually it'll get monetized. You know, and you know, that's the dream. I want to be a full-time YouTuber. You know, along with side hustles. And that's another thing I'm going to... Oh, I need... That's another thing I want to do. I want to write an article about my experience with seasonal work. To kind of follow up the how to apply for a job on Cool Works video that, or article that I wrote. Um, so, people... Because the example that I used for, apply, for applying for a job on Cool Works was YMCA of the Rockies. So... I'm kind of do that as a part two to that original article. You know, I applied for a job at YMCA of the Rockies and this was my experience. And, you know, and that's monetized. I've had that, that Hub Pages account for two years now and I'm only up to like $26, $27. And I don't get able, I'm not able to cash out until it hits $50. <laughs> But I'm also going to start putting a referral code in all my videos so people who want to start writing for Hub Pages about their passions and hobbies and and interests, they can they can write articles. Um, and I mean that's how um, Timothy Ward gets most of his money, and he gets like three four hundred dollars a month from Hub Pages. And he hasn't written anything in years. And he still gets that kind of money every month. But it's all from referrals. All the people he's referred that are writing articles that he gets a chunk of, you know. Eventually, I want, it, I want that to be me, you know. And that, that's going to be one of my side hustles. And that's something, you know, once it's set up and people are writing articles and I'm getting that money every month, I won't have to do anything. You know, if I want to post another article I can but I don't have to it's something that's completely passive at that point and that's how I want a lot of my side hustles to be I don't have to do anything but I'll be getting this money you know and that's kind of one of the things you know about having these these Facebook groups with the affiliate links once I get the groups established you know I can post a link or not you know, I can just uh, keep those um, those links as, you know, announcements. And that announcement will stay there until you take it off and put another announcement up. So that announcement will always pop up first on anybody's feed in the group. You know? So that affiliate link will always pop up first. So once it's there and you got it set up that way, you don't have to do anything else. You know, people will come join your your Facebook group, see it, click on it, whatever. It'll always be the first that they see. So, I don't know. Another thing I I thought about and I searched for but I didn't find anything about it was something like current um, where uh, current is something that's kind of like Pandora or Spotify where you listen to music but you get points for all the, every song or every station that you listen to and once you get enough points you can trade it in for gift cards you know, so you get paid for listening to music um, I was looking for if there was some sort of platform where you could make a playlist that, you know, will come up in searches within that platform. And when people listen to it, you get paid per song that they listen to. You know, kind of like a the opposite version of current, where you're not getting paid for the songs you listen to, you're getting paid for the songs that other people listen to. And that could be a lot more profitable than current. But I didn't find any platforms like that. You know. 
and I'll keep searching. There, there may be something out there and I'm just not finding it yet, but I'm, I'm going to keep looking for something like that because I'll make a playlist. I'll make a whole bunch of playlists, you know, across all the music genres. And when people listen to them, I'll get paid. And if somebody hasn't made something like that, they need to. So there you go. Any app builders out there? Make make it, you know. Make it to where you get money from, um, you know, each channel has its own, you know, it'll have commercials, kind of like Pandora does or Spotify, um, where they'll have commercials pop up every couple of songs. And that's how you get your revenue to pay the pe pay people to when they make a playlist to get the, the, the pay-per-click paid out to them, you know? <clears throat> so, I don't know. It's something that could be potentially profitable to everybody involved. The people who make the app, and the people who make the playlists. But there's your side hustle idea for anybody out there wanting to create something. Create that. There's an alarm going off at the Amazon warehouse. Somebody must open the fire exit. <clears throat> oh. I don't know what else I want to talk about. I know it seems like I talk more about side hustles than I do hiking at this point on this channel, and I apologize for that. I just, with my truck being down, it's impossible for me to get to a hiking trail, which is why I do these nightly walk and talks. Now, this is what my hiking has been reduced to <laughs> at this point. Uh, Eventually, hopefully, I can get out onto more trails and do more actual hiking videos. <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to get enough money to actually get out on one of the long trails. So that's kind of my focus at this point. I haven't heard any coyotes tonight. <laughs> That's a good thing. The occasional dog barking, but that's it. I haven't even heard anything rustling in the grass. Those are usually field mice or field rats, or the occasional maybe a possum or a raccoon. 
or the occasional deer. What is that in the sidewalk? Oh yeah, I need to get the mail. I think it's a box or a bag. Oh, it's a sonic bag. Anyway. Alright, well. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Kind of run out of things to talk about. One of the things I thought about doing once I get out on the trail is doing an occasional Randonautica video on the Appalachian Trail to see what comes up. You know, because we'll be in the middle of the wilderness. And what is going to come up? Of course, you know, I don't need to run into any, you know, hermits or anything that have bad intentions that that could be scary <laughs> and i wouldn't want to get far off the trail because i don't want to get lost now i don't want to get abducted by aliens <laughs> now there's a movie i watched a couple of years ago this family was driving somewhere you know in like the east coast like north carolina or somewhere and they were following the directions on the gps and it, it they had to take a detour and and uh it took them back into the fucking middle of nowhere and they ended up at this like tunnel and the road the road went through a tunnel and there are all these cars parked there and their hazard lights were on their lights were on the doors were open I mean, it looked post-apocalyptic. So they get out and they're looking for people and they go in and they, uh, something chases them out of the tunnel and, and one of them comes up missing, you know, like the sun or something comes up missing. And, you know, they were teenage kids and, uh, and come to find out, you know, he'd been abducted by aliens and, they were using the GPS to basically lure people to be captured and stuff and experimented on and all kinds of shit. It was, it was, it was one of those like found footage type movies. You know, I, I kind of like those, you know, like Clover, Cloverdale and stuff like that. Um, paranormal activity, those types of movies. Uh, I kind of like those. So let me turn you around right quick. All right, well, you know the deal. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you find any worth in this video or any of my other videos, go ahead and hit that like button. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Be notified anytime that I upload another video. Until next time, folks, folks, peoples, Tried to say people and said pokes. <laughs> Later. <laughs>